I'm Laura Fernandez, and I'm host of Café Latino here on Jazz FM 91, and I'm honored to be the host for tonight's exciting series. This is the third season of Discover Women in Jazz. Uh, Discover Women in Jazz has been proudly sponsored by the Pat and Tony Adams Freedom Fund for the Arts since its inception in 2021. Pat and Tony Adams were devoted fans of jazz music, theater, improv, and comedy, and it, they had great respect and affection for those who dedicated their lives to pursuing the arts professionally. As a result, they left a legacy fund in their name to award selected artists in these fields with cash prizes to help them achieve their goals. And I'm very excited about tonight's guest, special guest, uh, Sabine Dalamba. And uh, she is a composer, a guitarist, and a singer-songwriter. And I'll just let you know a little bit about her. She's always on a quest to establish the musical heartbeat of a compelling story as a composer, a guitarist, and as a singer-songwriter. Her music has traversed many mediums from stage to screen through collaborative work in film, games, theater, art installations, and dance stages. And her latest composition for dance premiered in fall of 2022. It was an original score for Margarita with the Toronto dance company Holla Jazz. She's got a writing style that flows freely between jazz harmony, folky melodies, groovy repetitive structures, and ambient textures. Sabine brings the same multifaceted sensibility to her work as an improviser and a performer. She's a seasoned songwriter and Sabine also composes custom song commissions and is currently completing her debut solo album as a singer-songwriter. I'm very, very excited to have her here tonight. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Sabina Dalamba. Thank you so much for having me. said and done some you've lost and some you've won and on the mornings you don't know if the road you're on is wrong as experience would show for every high there is a low for every dark night of the soul is a promise of new hope Rain has come today Change is here to stay The tide has come and gone Now it's time 
to move on It's falling down It's falling down It's falling down Is a piece that you can find But it starts within the heart In the deepest part With the spirit, with the fire Of a thousand flaming suns It confirms your heart's desire You will know it when it much everyone um, thanks for having us here I'm Sabina and this is Jeff Rochelle. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna play um, some original songs tonight that first song that you heard is called rain has come um, that song will be featured on a record that I'm working on um, that will be out soon um, the following song is another one from quite a while ago that uh, is not going to be on the record, but you get to hear it live, so yay. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that first song was called Rain Has Come. This next song is called Morning Dove.
it and I've guessed they'd have a song to bring to me Beneath the canopy of an evergreen among the trees They flew to me and spotted my balcony then flew At first I saw them, then heard them, still rings with me. Sounded as if tears took in form as melodies. How could a song so full of sorrow void of words to speak Pull on my heartstrings in such a hopeful way and bring such I still remember the morning of morning doves And so whenever I hear the call I rise above Above the morning sorrow the deep despair Cause I know the calling is calling me back up there Morning Thank you very much. <laughs>
that's uh, how it is when you write songs with a bunch of different open tunings all the time. <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be on a low E string for this one, but so it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this, this next song is called Behind Closed Eyes. much everybody um, I'm gonna do one more song for the time being and uh, and then we're gonna take a, a little break and have a little chat <laughs> um, this next song was written I think I wrote it around 2015 um, at the time I was uh, living in Hamilton shout out to Hamilton <laughs> Ontario um, and I used to go for a lot of walks on the rail trail. Um, yeah, it's just like a, a nice little nature space that's pretty accessible from a number of parts of the city. And um, and yeah, that inspired a lot of a lot of different songs. And uh, this was one of the songs that 
was inspired by a walk I took and um and yeah I just saw a bunch of geese flying <laughs> in the sky and tend to write a, a lot of things about birds and water and things <laughs> uh yeah just you know the elements <laughs> um they tend to inspire a lot of nice things <laughs> good feelings um so yeah, and uh, this song is called Parallel Motion. And uh, something that I often think about when I play this song too is just how a lot of us have a lot more in common than we realize and sometimes it's just worth that little bit of extra to figure out what that is so that we can <laughs> make things happen together. Um, so yeah, in the spirit of that, this song is Parallel Motion.
That was Parallel Motion, and uh, you heard from Jeff LaRochelle on saxophone. <laughs> that was just absolutely beautiful. Um, I find your songs really compelling, and with every note, you sort of you draw me into your world, and I just find myself kind of lost in this dreamy paradise. Um, it's just gorgeous. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about we were chatting beforehand, and um, you were telling me you were born in Sweden. Tell us a little bit about your exotic upbringing and yeah, what sure. brought you to Canada and all that. Yeah, um, I was born in Sweden to a Swedish mother and a Congolese father. And uh, we moved to Canada when I was just under three, two and a half or something. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, we, were, we were talking a little bit earlier about how a lot of the places we come from kind of influence who we are and how we express and including our, our sounds as well. And I think I have a little bit of all of those things in me. <laughs> I think, yeah, the sweet in me likes, you know, folky melodies and <laughs> um, just good songwriting. And the Congolese in me loves just good rhythms and layered guitar things. <laughs> I don't know. I think it all somehow kind of got in there in, in some way or another. <laughs> no, it's a beautiful um, fusion of that, of just like, kind of folky songwriting but you have like those some of those wonderful african rhythms and it just sounds absolutely gorgeous it's very compelling and, uh, and very original um I, I wanted to ask you what it was that made you gravitate to the guitar it always fascinates me uh when i ask people you know how did you choose your instrument because i know our instruments are really uh they become a part of us yeah. and sometimes we know early on what we what our instrument is, like I did, I just knew. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. sometimes you have to kind of, you know, try a few things before you go, oh my gosh, this is what I've been looking for. So tell us a little bit about your journey finding your instrument. Yeah, um, I think originally when I was young, I was, I was drawn initially, I think, to the piano. Um, and my grandma had a piano at her house. My mom always told me the story of when they were younger, um, their, the family kind of had a choice at one point where they could have bought a car, they could have bought a piano, and, and they went with the piano, <laughs> which says a lot <laughs> about <choice>. the values. <laughs> it, was, it was a great choice. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, when we were growing up um, in the house that I lived when I was younger, uh, we didn't have a piano at the time, but my mom had an old guitar, um, just like an old nylon string guitar that mm -hmm. she had brought with her from Sweden. 
And at the time, I was kind of like, oh, well, I have to express something. So I, I, <laughs> I decided to try it out. And she showed me a couple of chords. And then from there, I actually really liked it and got into it. And it's kind of stuck ever since. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So it was kind of by default, but it ended up being the thing I really liked. <laughs> Um, I was wondering, because I see that you use a lot of open tunings, and yeah. um, like, have you listened to artists like Joni Mitchell? Did you listen to that kind of music when you were young? And, and do, you, do you tend to gravitate more to open tunings than? Yeah, um, Joni Mitchell was someone who I, I didn't discover her music until quite a bit later in my life, yeah, but I think I listened to a lot of folk music in general, and um, in particular, there's this one uh, American guitarist who I discovered on YouTube in high school named Doyle Dykes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's a, a great uh, fingerstyle acoustic guitarist, and he uses all kinds of interesting tunings, and I think there was just something about the way the instrument resonates when you when you have those open tunings that um, that is just really compelling, so I think I, I just kind of would noodle around with that a lot, but not fully, I still don't like fully know what I'm doing, but I kind of figure it out just through just trying a bunch of stuff, I guess. Trying it out. That's yeah. The, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, I, I love your voice. I, I find it very soothing, and your melodies are just very, um, you know, they're unpredictable, and yet mm. they, t they make total sense. Like, somehow they just blend so beautifully mm. with your playing. Who are some of your favorite singers and singers who have influenced you? Well, um, there's so many <laughs> to name. <laughs> Yes, Julie too. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I I would say that growing up, one singer that I listened to a lot because we had a record in the house as we were talking earlier was yeah. Whitney Houston. Yes. And uh, I mean, you know, nobody will ever sound like her. Nobody sounded like her. But there was something that I connected with even more than just her beautiful voice. I think there was just something in the music that you could feel whenever she sang. It was like, it was with her entire heart and soul and everything. And uh, and also she did have a very, just this beautiful kind of clarity and also just like accuracy, remarkable, just in her in her voice as well. I think that that maybe on some level that, that probably got in my brain and influenced me, but I don't know if there was ever a particular singer that I would try to specifically sound like, but she was definitely in my ear a lot when I was younger. Well, I, I find that your your voice is very pure and it has mm -hmm. that clarity and uh, I just want to hear more of your voice. So actually this brings us to uh, the perfect time for for you to maybe play us another song. Would you do that for us and tell I would us love a little to. bit about this next song? Uh, yes, actually this next song is the only one <laughs> that I'm not going to sing for. <laughs> but this one uh, was composed um, for the dance piece that we mentioned earlier called Margarita for the dance company Hollow Jazz. And this was written as a beautiful solo for um, a dancer named Shanice Mitchell. And uh, the name of this song is called uh, When Life Feels Good.
we're going to dedicate this one to Whitney Houston, speaking of. <laughs> uh, yesterday actually would have been her 60th birthday, which we realized when we were Googling her as we put together the set. <laughs> um, so this one goes out as a thank you uh, to her. Somebody 
somebody who somebody who loves me somebody who somebody who <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> and uh, we're going to continue with another original song. Uh, this next song is called Outside. Uh, this one as well is going to be featured on my upcoming album. Um, this one again was written a number of years ago. Um, but a lot of it, I think, deals with a pretty universal theme in that we all deal with uh, fears of different kinds. And um, sometimes also things that happen earlier on can affect the fears that develop later. But at some point, we tend to find uh, times where we have to kind of look those in the face. <laughs> and uh, this is a song that kind of explores that relationship with with uh, fear. the pavement moon begins to rise motor in the driveway and a front door light it's time to head outside for a while it's best to disappear It gets loud in here And I'd rather go outside than stay in here Cause the monsters never know where to find me there Yeah, I'd rather go outside and wait for dawn to appear It's dark in here It's dark in
pushes me to go outside And now it's clear In the middle of the fight That it's up to me to decide To give myself To the flowing of the tide Yesterday changed my mind and stayed in here Cause if the monsters live inside they'll find you anywhere Guess I'd rather look inside until the hope reappears It's dark in here there's a spark in here. Thank you. That was just wonderful. Uh, you can uh, check out Sabina Delamba at sabinadelamba.com. And uh, you have been listening to Discover Women in Jazz. This concert series features one phenomenal artist every week throughout the month of August uh, during Jazzology, and it's sponsored by RBC Emerging Artists. And uh, Sabina's Jazzology feature is going to re-air this Sunday at 8 a.m. If you want to learn more about her, you can go to jazz.fm slash discover women in jazz. Thank you all so much for listening. I'm Laura Fernandez, see you on Cafe Latino, and we're going to hear one more song from Sabina Delamba. Thank you so much. Um, once again, I'd just like to say a quick thanks um, to Jazz FN for having us and to the um, Pat and Tony Adams Freedom Fund for making today possible. Um, a huge thanks as well to Jelani behind the scenes for all the coordinating, <laughs> making this all happen. And uh, thank you so much, Glenn, for sound. Um, thank you so much, Jeff LaRochelle, <laughs> for his sounds. <laughs> um, and um, and thank you so much, uh, Lara, as well, for hosting. Um, and before we play the final song, um, just a few quick, quick words about this one. Uh, this is a song by a Swedish gospel artist named Perjerik Hallin. Um, when he worked in America, he was known as Pete Hallin. <laughs> and um, he actually was a friend of my mom years ago. And... Um, he used to kind of be around in our lives when I was young. He would play the piano, and fun fact, he also did funny Donald Duck voices. He was actually the uh, Donald Duck voice of Sweden, <laughs> uh, which is a big deal. Donald Duck is really huge over there. <laughs> At Christmas, it's what you watch. <laughs> um, anyway, so he's an incredible musician, um, an extremely kind uh, and warm-hearted person, and uh, very generous. And uh, we were, Jeff and I were fortunate to spend some time with him when we were in Sweden in uh, 2021. And um, the song that we're gonna play out at the end here is a song of his, it's called Summer Is Not Over. It's been uh, a favorite song of many people in my family for a number of years. And um, I wanted to include it here kind of as a bit of a, a thank you to him. <laughs> um, and also, um, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's hard to talk after you play songs. I don't know if, if other musicians out there can relate. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, and uh, another interesting thing about his life as well was that in, I believe, 1973 and 74, he actually um, played and recorded with Elvis um, back in the day. And uh, he's a, a wonderful musician that more people should know about his work. I highly recommend uh, checking him out. Um, and uh, for anybody who listened to my Jazzology interview, uh, we featured one of his songs, in fact, this song, uh, Summer Is Not Over. And uh, so we're, we're gonna give you a little, a little taste of that and hopefully we'll, <laughs> we'll do it justice. Uh, so this one is for you, Pererik. And um, yeah, thank you so much everyone for being here and listening.
Summer is not over You'll feel it in your heart Summer is not over You'll have a brand new start After all your sorrows After all this time You'll find what you have longed for Love and peace of mind Summer is not over You'll see a bright new sky Summer is not over You're the apple of my You'll be looking at the green leaves The bright clouds in the sky The sunshine on the water And see it with new Summer 
Thank you. Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs>